Hey, what's up, Black Mercies? I have some new comic reviews. Uh, we're a couple days late, sorry about that. And I only have two comics uh, that are new this week, and both prominently feature Miss Marvel. Uh, we are talking about, uh, let's, where do we go first? We are talking about Avengers number five and Miss Marvel number four. And let's start with, uh, let's see, let's start with Miss Marvel here. And this is part one of a new story arc, uh, Army of One. And it is by uh, series regulars uh, G. Willow Wilson and uh, Nico Leon is the artist on this one. And uh, I absolutely love it. And this is, as usual, uh, a great mix of what's going on in her life. Uh, let's see. Her brother has announced that he and his girlfriend have decided to get married. And she's excited about that until she realizes that they're going to move in with her. So that's another person who may or may not discover her secret identity. Uh, oh, and by the way, she's getting a call from Iron Man during this whole thing. Uh, which is, by the way, this is a pretty delightful scene of... Uh, him trying to convince uh, their parents uh, that this is a good thing, and her getting excited at first because he she thinks she's he's leaving, and then uh, he's not leaving, and he's actually adding a, a plus one. Uh, meanwhile, Tony Stark uh, calls her and says there is an issue going on. I need uh, Miss Marvel to take care of something for me, and she does, and she has a problem uh, fighting these henchmen, uh, so she has to call in the rest, which kind of doesn't make her look too good. Uh, meanwhile, she's just having trouble like keeping uh, shit together at school. Uh, essentially, uh, she's done half-assing it. Uh, she seems she feels like she's half-assing everything. You know, being an Avenger, being in her family, uh, being at school because she's doing so much. And believe me, I can kind of relate to that. I uh, I know how exhausting it can be, and it's less tiresome if you kind of half-ass it if you have to do like twenty things during a week. Um, so, <laughs> the, uh, the Super Science, uh, 3D printer that, uh, uh, Bruno has, uh, forgot where they got it, but <laughs> it's been able to make these sort of, uh, these biological creature things that, uh, Loki left behind, uh, in his story arc, which are very me-seeks, uh, hey, look at me! Uh, so she goes, hey, can you make them look like me? And so, yeah, comedy ensues. And the uh, the issue starts off with uh, her making some, and I guess they left the printer on. So our cliffhanger this week, or this month, is uh, there's a ton of them. Um, uh, that's probably not going to be good, especially if you've seen the movie uh, Multiplicity. You, you know that's going to be a problem. Uh, it also gives away your secret identity if there's like 30 of you. Uh, this uh, is awesome. I love this one. This is a very funny issue. Uh, the art in this is great. One of the things I love about the art on this series is the little kind of touches. Like, she's getting, she's fighting these henchmen here, and if you look in the corner, like, it looks like somebody's, like, uh, fencing in this building, like, dressed as Zorro. Like, what the hell is going on up there? Um, you, that's one of the cool things about the uh, the art on this. Both artists kind of do that. They have a lot of cool details in the background, uh, which make it really fun to read. Uh, five Ram Chips, uh, get this one, it's fantastic. Uh, okay, now let's jaunty over to uh, the Avengers. And I see, I read this one first, and then I read this one, which is kind of cool because there's a lot of Miss Marvel in uh, the first half of this. This is by uh, Mark Wade and, um, let's see, Mahmoud Asar. And something's going up with um, Vision. I don't know what he's doing uh, at the beginning, but we do quickly learn what he's doing because uh, he f frames uh, Miss Marvel f for coming... Let's see. He even creates a false... Um, she's uh, fighting a uh, giant robot, and she takes it down. And then he adds innocent bystanders getting out of the way and tells... Uh, uh, Tony and Sam that uh, she disregarded people uh, during the fight, and they fire her. Uh, she's really upset and runs runs away, running into Nova, who gets pissed about this, because he knows, in dealing with Vision, that he's been acting really suspicious lately. Uh, and they fire him, too, because he kind of bursts in like a hothead. Uh, by the way, uh, <laughs> Miles Morales is very funny during these scenes, because... Uh, 
he's also one of the three new kids, and they just fired the other two new kids right in front of him. Uh, his reactions are very funny. Uh, they get in this big fight, and the Vision tosses uh, Sam and uh, New Thor like into like this time bubble or something like that. But he, she drops her hammer and quickly turns back into Jane Foster. And if those of you who aren't aware of what's going on with her, uh, she's suffering from cancer and not like not a good time for her. So when she loses her hammer, she's in deeper shit than she ordinarily would be. Uh, excellent first uh, issue of the story arc. Uh, yeah, it seems like uh, Vision has been uh, under control of somebody. I imagine uh, the character that's bought the Avengers Tower. Uh, what's his name? It is... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't remember. Anyway. But a uh, very cool first uh, story, for a for, very for first cool first issue for the story. Uh, my favorite part is probably the, we learned that uh, Miss Marvel writes erotic friend fiction uh, of the other Avengers. Uh, this scene was absolutely hilarious. It opens, and I think this is a fantasy that uh, Captain America is having, and we learn on the final page that, that it's her writing. And I love the fact that she... She uh, suspects that uh, New Thor, at least in her fan fiction, is, is really Captain Marvel, and she's hooking up with uh, Captain America. Uh, it's adorable. It's hilarious. And uh, that scene where she gets fired is kind of really sad, because you know from reading this that she's working really hard, and this means a lot to her, and she's completely dicked over. Uh, and that scene where she gets really upset and uh, runs into Nova. It's uh, a little bit heart, uh, heart disheartening. Uh, great issue. I, I'm very excited. I think the Alex Ross cover is a reference to a previous uh, old classic uh, Avengers cover. I can't remember which one, though, because uh, the next one looks like an old uh, Avengers cover as well, and uh, we're going to find out. Uh, thankfully, we're not dragging this out too long. We're going to find out what's going on with Vision, because he's, he's made a huge attempt to kill the others. Uh, instead of strategically trying to separate them, uh, very cool issue. I'm. This is definitely my favorite of the Avengers titles, uh, right here, and I highly recommend this. This was five, so that's it for now. So until next time, push the button, Lindsay.